Okay, so now that you have those three programs installed on your computer, we can start preparing our footage using AVI synth scripts. And to create our scripts, we're going to use a program called AVSP Mod. So just go get your footage. To make our scripts, it's really easy. You just take your footage, let's say you got an AVI file. All you got to do is drag and drop it onto AVSP Mod. And it will create something like this. Okay, this is an AVI synth script template. All this means is go get this AVI file from this location using a function called AVI source and return the frames for me. Okay, if you want to see the script in action, just click this toggle button and it will come up with a window. It'll probably start off black maybe, but if you want to see the footage, the frames, just scroll bar and you can see the frames. This is actually an old AMV that I created a long time ago. It's got a low resolution, it's 4x3. You can see a little bit of information there. So that's how to create the template. If you want to save it, just go file, save script as, pick a location and a name. Let's just name it the same thing. Save. And if I close this, now I've got my script right there. And we'll be using it for later on when we start adding lines or saving our footage to a different format. If you have something else, let's use DVD footage. You can leave the VOB file or files, depending on how many you've got, and go get your index. You should have one by now. And drag and drop that onto ABSP mod. It will come up with a different template because different types of files use different source calls. And it does the same thing. You can see your footage here and click through and see what it looks like. You might have interlacing. If that happens, like these lines here, you might want to just watch a tutorial on how to remove all of that. So if everything looks good, well, okay, just go save your script. Uh, I don't want to save it right now. If you're using MP4 files, same thing. Except this one, okay, directional source might work for you. Like if I open this up, I can see my footage here. This is an old AMV, AMV of mine as well. And, oh, by the way, don't use other people's AMVs for footage. That's just a bad idea. It's just not cool either. Unless you get permission, of course. <laughs> but there is a better method besides directional source, okay? Because directional source is not frame accurate. I would only use this if you're saving your entire file to a different format. If you're making clips, what you'll want to do is just change this line to FF video source, okay? Hit F5 to refresh it, and it will load the file using this different type of source call. Then you can scroll through your footage like that. One thing to note is it will create an FF index, okay? That may or may not take a long time to create. Like if I had some footage that was a couple hours long, a full feature movie that was two hours long or whatever, then when I pressed F5 to refresh, it would almost look like the screen is freezing, but don't worry, that just means if you wait after a while, it's creating this FF index and sometimes it takes a while to create. This time it was really fast because I've only got, what, a, how long is this? A three, and three minute AMV to index. Okay, and the same thing goes for MKV files, so you just drag it onto there, you have your script, it pops up like this scan through. If it isn't coming up, that just means you don't have the codecs installed on your computer. You might want to change it definitely then to FF Video Source or go download the combined community codec that I might make a tutorial on that. So that's how to make your scripts. To make changes to your footage, like I'm going to load my script into there. Take a look at my AMV here. Say I wanted to resize it. I, I wanted to make it bigger. What I could do is go size. Let's say I want it to be 640 by 480. Okay, I hit F5 and now my footage is bigger. It got resized. Say I wanted to... what else could I do to it? Um, okay, I'm actually going to go through a number of other um, video tutorials on how to prepare your footage a bit more, but for now you know how to make your scripts and that should be enough to move on to the next step.